Hello everyone, my name is James Pateri, I'm a product manager at Elastic and I focus on our uh, security solution. Today, I have the absolute pleasure to be able to introduce our latest addition to Elastic Security, which is a feature we're calling Attack Discovery. This is designed to be able to help security operations teams of any shape and size to triage and investigate alerts uh, really, really quickly, thanks to Generative AI. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right in. What you're seeing on my screen right now is the current alerts view within Elastic Security. So this is typically where, as part of your uh, daily security operations, you would go in to see what alerts would have triggered within your environment. And these are alerts either that we as Elastic have provided as part of Elastic Security, thanks to our Security Labs team, or perhaps any alerts you might have crafted yourselves through our custom rule concept. It's a slow day today still, like, there's still 30 alerts, right? Which, which isn't a significant number, but it's still not a, a relatively small one either. Where do I even start? This is a challenge that um, security uh, analysts and teams face every single day. That's normal. And again, I only have 30 alerts today. It's very common that you have a lot more than this. This is where attack discovery comes in, right? Instead of having to go through all of these, I'm just going to go pivot to this new attack discovery tab. And you can see here, um, it's a, nice, it's a nice, very simple interface because we've tried to make this as simple as possible. And saying you're gonna, 30 alerts are going to be analyzed. Um, this is, like I said, using generative AI. So we do need our large language model hooked up, which is, you can see, I've picked my large language model up here. This is an advantage of Elastic is we allow you to bring whatever model you prefer. Uh, of course, we are the search AI platform. So we're going to be doing a ton of things under the hood, leveraging all the power of Elastic to make sure you get the best and most accurate results as well. And all you have to do after you select that model is hit this generate button. This might take some time because, um, again, as a, as a large language model, it's still going to have quite a bit of data to churn through to give you these results. So uh, I'll pause the video right here and then come back as soon as these results are generated and we'll go through them together. OK, so we've got our results back. And take a look at this now. Uh, at the top, we have a nice summary of what happened. Uh, we had our 30 alerts. And they were broken down for us into four discoveries, which means these are four active things happening within my environment, which I'm definitely going to want to look into. And what attack discovery has done is not only has it told me there's four discoveries, it gave me as much detail about them as possible. So just really quickly glancing over them, if I just uh, collapse all of these here, you can see there's pretty much something happening on each of the hosts we have here. And it's given a nice title to these discoveries, depending on what's going on. So anywhere from a malware attack on macOS to a ransomware attack, malware attack via malicious office document. So try to make that title a bit descriptive into what it's discovered. Uh, I probably won't go to each and every one of them here, but let's just start with this first discovery and take a look at this content. Attack discoveries, remember, went through all the alerts, identified these attacks and correlated any behavior um, so it's then easy for me to understand in one go. So we have a very nice, very quick summary here, which uh, describes the entities involved. In this case, we have this particular host and this user. Uh, you can see there's interactions for all of these as well. So I can open the existing host and alerts flyouts you might already be used to. So that's all uh, something you have at the tip of your fingers. But let's take a look at this. So it said, uh, we take a look at the summary first. There are um, multiple alerts indicating potential malware attack on this macOS host. Um, involving suspicious processes, credential, um, credential phishing attempts, and execution of untrusted code. The attack appears to be a multi-staged uh, and targets an elevated user account. So immediately I know, OK, this is definitely a discovery that I should be interested in. But then take a look at the details. So there was multiple instances of a suspicious process name, uh, which is mygoapplication.app. Uh, they had these character characteristics. Uh, the process launched by the parent process launch D. The process failed code signature validation, indicating it may be malicious. And then the process attempted to execute this uh, command. Then a process named OsaScript was detected attempting to display a fake system dialog to potentially fish for user credentials. And it gives me the command line as well. Uh, a suspicious file name was then created with, with you know, full permissions and then executed with these arguments, potentially attempting to access the user's login keychain. So, Perfect, right? How, what more could I want than this? Um, we also have a really great visualization indicating the uh, MITRE attack uh, tactics over here. Um, we can see the alerts which were involved. 
So we don't hide those from you. If you wanted to pivot to the alert view that were that you know the alerts that were involved in this, this discovery, you can. So we highlight all of this here, and you get the same alert experience you're already used to within Elastic Security. Um, and we also take it a step further for you. So you know, uh, typically during an investigation, the actual investigation part is half the job. We then have to start reporting on it. So we've tried to make that really easy for you too. So uh, with a couple of clicks. We can go to this Take Action menu and say, we want to create a new case with this discovery. So we can add to a new case. You can see we automatically populate the, the name there as well as the description. Let's just change the severity. This is the only thing I'm going to change. And then create the case. That's it. Now, if we actually take a look at the case, we not only have the name and the description, but we get all of that richly formatted data that was in the discovery. And we get all the alerts attached that were included as well. So now, it couldn't be easy for me to just um, continue this investigation, bring in other members of the team, so on and so forth. I didn't have to spend the time doing all of this. Very similarly, we've made it really easy for you to continue to ask questions about this. So perhaps um, you might want to say, OK, fantastic discovery. How do I potentially remediate it? Well, let's send this discovery to our assistant. So I can simply click on the View in AI Assistant button. You can see we get a new chat with the discovery name. Uh, we also get the actual content from the discovery. And now I can simply ask the question about it. So like, you know, how would I remediate this, for example? And then the assistant uh, is going to do its thing and give us a really nice answer there as well. And by the way, um, all the privacy features you might already be used to with the assistant are all available, all available within attack discovery. So things like anonymization, field selection, you still have full control over that. Um, so we've, we've put in a lot of hard work to make sure that you know, your privacy is taken into consideration. And like I said in the beginning, um, you have the choice of models to use here as well. So we, we haven't taken that away from you. And now you can see the assistant gave me this really nice uh, steps to potentially remediate this. I could continue the conversation if I want. I could also go ahead and add this to the case that we just created, right? Why not? So let's go ahead and do that. And now we have the remediation steps as part of the case. So we've really tried at every step to give you uh, as much uh, help as possible, thanks to Attack Discovery and the AI Assistant. I hope you're as excited as we are. We feel this is a really revolutionary a um, bit of technology that's now available to all users of Elastic Security, and we're only just getting started. That's all I have time for you today. Uh, please visit our website for more information, or perhaps go ahead and start a cloud trial, and I will see you next time.